Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. American Idol's Luke Bryan has been mocked for sounding like a seal as he sings Katy Perry's song Firework on set. The clip of the country music artist singing the pop star's hit was posted on the American Idol Instagram account to celebrate the 4th of July. In the clip, Luke, 46, is shown attempting to sing Firework during a break from the auditions much to the distaste of his fellow competition judge. After his failed rendition was complete, Katie, ha, 38, told him, it's not up 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 and it's not uh uh uh. The Play It Again singer demanded, what is it then? Because I've been dying to know all these years. A disgruntled Katie shot back, it's ah ah ah, before spelling the word out loud. Luke then asked, is that a word in the dictionary? Exasperated, the last Friday night artist replied, it is, and then exclaimed to viewers, it's ah 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 everybody. Get it right. In the post's comment section, one person wrote, Luke sounds like a seal. The American Idol page replied, correct. Another fan commented, lol this made my dog bark. A third commenter joked, Luke sounds like a sea lion. I thought the same exact thing, added a fourth. While a fifth fan remarked, this was too funny with Luke and Katie. I remembered this clip of American Idol. Sticking together. Recently, Luke defended his co-star Katy Perry and claimed she gets picked on. Katy had been slammed by many viewers for her behavior towards some of the contestants during season 21. But Luke jumped to her defense when asked if he thinks American Idol fans have been too harsh in their criticism of her. Katy Perry's been dealing with stuff like that her whole career, Luke said during an interview at the Country Music Association Fest. We all get it. I mean we're judging kids that people at home fall in love with. We're not gonna bat 1000 as judges. He continued, I think we get set up. As judges, you know, we kind of fall on the sword a lot of times. And get set up to where people can get very vocal on socials and stuff. Picked on for going out and trying to have fun making a TV show, Luke added. You can't be so safe in the moment that you're so homogenized, you can't ever go for a joke. Or go for a fun moment. Sometimes, you just gotta say stuff. It may be my year, next year. Luke claimed that entertainers are conditioned and callous to backlash. He then said of his co-star, it makes me appreciate her even more, just how big of a scale she's had to deal with that her whole career. Katie's Hot Takes Throughout season 21 of American Idol, Katie was accused of mom-shaming and being condescending toward various contestants. Back in April, many viewers felt she acted rudely toward singer Rihanna in particular. The singer was slammed for looking shocked when we was picked as the last person to go through to the top 12 and for failing to give her any feedback after her performance. However, last month, season 21 finalist Oliver Steele opened up about what Katie is like in real life. Oliver appeared on the American Idol Unaired podcast with Bennett Shear on June 12. He talked about being friends with season 21 winner I Am Tongi, being saved in the finals, his song choices, the judges, and more. Bennett told the singer that he wanted to reflect on some of the memories Oliver made on the show. I know you said before that you have a lot of fond memories with Katie and Luke and Lionel, Richie, as well. I'm curious about what you think, he asked Oliver. Oliver said that Luke was the guy who loves to laugh. He also added that during Hollywood week, Lionel would turn around in his chair and talk to the contestants. Katie is a little bit more reserved, but that doesn't mean that she is unapproachable, Oliver let the host know. I was a little irritated with the way she was being treated after the show and the things people were saying because it's all bullcrap. Oliver continued, Katie's a wonderful person. The Idol finalist went on to share a sweet memory of him and the Roar singer. I remember day one in Hollywood, I was like, Katie, do you mind if we get a photo? And she was like, yeah, sure, babe, like one second. Cause they were doing her makeup. And then she was like, all right, let's get that photo, Oliver shared. Like she's just super sweet, he added.